one of the better ones on appearance first time out. He's in the super sprint. He's probably got plenty of pace. I don't think 11's a good draw on the basis of what we've seen so far. That's right out on the stand's wing. I'm pretty sure that's not the place to be, but Jimmy Fortune can try and sort that out and try and get up the middle, which does look as though it's the place to be. OK, let's spin through a few of the others then. Uh, Jazz of Charlie Hills. Uh, got an excellent pedigree by Daniel Dance out of a Fazliav mare um, and probably one of the more forward-looking ones in the race. Pretty forward. Uh, uh, and the Hills team have always introduced nice two-year-olds at this track, their local track. Uh, related to Combustible, who was a winner, and, and, and Rafar as well, who was very smart. Second two-year-old runner of the, for the stable this year, Ryan Moore, a good booking. I would think he'll go well without being particularly attractive at four to one. Nay Bother, representing Richard Fahey and Paul Hannigan, number seven, a son of Invincible Spirit. Uh, there's speed in that pedigree. Uh, how did he look to you? Yeah, the, he looked... Pretty straight. He was re-shod. I think we ought to tell you that. He, he'd spread a plate, so I don't know if there would be people out there who don't want to back horses who've spread a plate. But uh, he was re-shod quite quickly, so he didn't mean that much time was lost. He looks fit. Interesting, uh, in the Racing Post this morning, Richard Farhi's stable tour, he wasn't mentioned. Uh, I don't know whether that's significant or not, but it, presumably Richard has an awful lot of two-year-olds and there were only room to mention four or five of them. Uh, he looked fit anyway. The stable yet to have a two-year-old winner from nine runners, but a few of them were. Uh, Green Door of Ollie Stevens with Jamie and Spencer on board uh, in the little group of runners making their way down, uh, as we see on screen. Uh, a son of Camacho, again, uh, he's a half-brother to horses that won over this distance as two-year-olds. And Jamie Spencer has the ride in David Redford's colours. David Redford, who is very much involved in the Qatar racing project and Ollie Stevens is training horses for them uh, and this one is Redford has the bloodstock agent has, has it in his own name look fit I thought uh, and another possible outsider with a chance he's uh, 14 to 1 he, I couldn't rule him out just having looked at him he looks fit fairly cheap compared to some of them but it wouldn't be a, a great surprise if I were to have a bet here I would have to back the one that had run Rishi I think he, there was one other who took my fancy in the paddock, and that was Justice Day. I thought looked yeah. looked really forward. He's been he's been was bought, I think, at the Breeze Ups recently, so he will have had plenty of experience. But David Ellsworth runs in David Ellsworth's own colours, and uh, looks um, a promising sort of horse. Meritocracy now 130, 92 Jazz. Um, what about the sh the Shannon pair? The smart one and Rosso Corsa. I like the smart one as an individual, but he's still carrying uh, quite a, a, a significant wintry coat. Yes, he was, but we've seen a couple of Shannon horses belie their their looks in the first race. They both ran well, having looked a bit wintry, so um, he should be OK. Uh, the other one, Rosso Corsa, was uh, pretty fit, I thought. Anything else that you want to mention? Ought to mention Siam, who looked fine, if just a little bit green in the preliminaries, but Rod Millman had a winner at Leicester, who was much more green. This filly, who's giving a little bit of trouble at the stores, pastoral witness, very unfurnished and not come in her coat at all yet, so one of the more wintry ones. I'll just go back to the, the Millman horse. Um, see him who was quite green nowhere near as, as green as their winner at, at Leicester and that Leicester race has worked out very well several winners out of it so another one who might run well the only one I think, don't think we haven't mentioned the Graves just gone forward Malakin missed the third of the Hannon runners and the most backward of the three quite a big horse certainly not come in his coat but looks as though he might he's got the frame of a decent horse uh, so meritocracy just about for you yeah, tentative you know, you don't know what the others are, but we know that meritocracy's form is, is is solid, and the time was good at Kempton. He showed bright speed. It might be a bit of a, more of a test of stamina, this though, in, in slightly dead ground. Meritocracy, the only one who's had a run. The other uh, 12 runners making their debuts. Let's join Richard to call them home in this two-year-old meet. So there are four left to go. Pastoral Witness is the one that's giving the most trouble as Jazz goes in, in trying to load Pastoral Witness for a while. The others have gone forward very accommodatingly with uh, Green Door about to be the latest and that will leave two as 
The blindfold goes on past a witness. Green door not yet in. In the stalls, Ross of Corsa has been very restive from an early stage. He's one of the first in, but has got a little worked up in the stalls as pastoral witness has the blindfold on and will be the last one once party ruler is in. That's now done. So they're all set bar pastoral witness who will be going in hopefully to stall 13 but is just proving a little awkward. The momentum been got however by the handlers here and pastoral witness is in. So they're off and racing from the stalls. Nay Bother was one that was a little bit uh, slow into stride. By contrast, out well Stevent and Star in the very pale colours. Also showing up is Siam. Biography more towards the stand side. Uh, coming over to the stands rail as well, Party Ruler in company with Pastoral Witness. They're right across the course with over on the extreme right, Meritocracy also front rank. So the group down the centre led by Meritocracy with Stevent and Star Jazz in that group with Justice Day, Nay Bother and the Smart One. Those more towards the stand side, Green Door showing good speed ahead of the Grey Malik in mid. At this stage, Siam can't quite hold the spot behind the leaders with uh, under the near side rail biography reminders for party ruler. Out in the centre, Stevent and Star with meritocracy, and on the far right, Justice Day's white cap. Then comes Jazz Green Door, never far away. Nay Bother and the smart one are the next two. Pale colours, Stevent and Star. Over on the far side, however, it's Justice Day who's moved through to join Stevent and Star. These two go on. Green Door very awkward back in the field. Out in front, Justice Day, Stevent and Star as they go for the line. Justice Day's doing enough out in front for William Buick. It's just Justice Day, who makes a winning debut to beat Stevent and Star. They were clear of a little cluster headed home by Meritocracy. Green Door, who was awkward at stages ahead of Jazz, nay bother, and then the smart one. So Justice Day for David Osworth and William View of Windsor, Compton Beecham Estates Limited EBF Maiden. Eddie gave this horse a very positive mention before the race. And looked pretty professional, Justice Day did today. He did, well he breezed. I think he breezed anyway, and, and that, that would have given him a lot of experience of well, an outing at a race course, which makes a difference anyway. A good purchase by David Ellsworth, 42,000, and the two of them came clear. Stevenson Star proved the best of the three Shannon horses, and this is good form. The third horse tells you that, Meritocracy, is third again. He'll pick up a race sometime. He shows speed again from stall one. Now, lots of horses came over to the stand side. Probably Green Door in stall 10 was the, the split initially with biography in the Czech colours and then the pastoral witness in the side Manana silks and party ruler who raced right, right up against the rails. And with the exception of Green Door, they never got into the race and Green Door has drifted or been taken back to join the others. 